Hi everyone, <coughs> thank you for coming. So today I will talk about learning from narrated instruction videos. But first of all, what are instruction videos? Well, imagine yourself stuck with a flat tire on your car. If you don't know how to change it, chances are that you will go online to find out how to do it. Here is what you find out. You will have a nice tutorial video where someone guides you step by step to successfully replace the flat tire. It will give you details about the tools you will need and how to manipulate them in order to complete each step. Those videos are often made by amateurs that want to share what they know in order to help others. And the nice thing is that you can find lots of such videos in case you are not happy about the first one you find. And when I mean lots of them, it is actually lots and lots of them. And of course, this isn't just about changing a tire, but concerns many other domains, ranging from gardening or first aid to cooking or home repair. Now, we can ask ourselves, if humans are able to learn from such videos, is it possible to design an algorithm that can automate this process? For example, imagine a robot learning from the internet how to operate a particular tool. Or a personal assistant that guides you with visual advices in order to repair a sink at home. Of course, these applications are still very challenging. So we first tackle a simpler task. Many of you probably know how an IKEA guide is very useful to assemble their furniture. Inspired by this, we would like to generate a sequence of narrated and a sequence of key steps to perform a task. In this work, we aim to do it automatically from many instruction videos on the web. Here is how we formulate our problem. So we first start with a set of narrated instruction videos, all depicting the same task. For each video of the set, we assume that we have access to a transcription of what the person is saying in the form of subtitles. From this input, we want to recover several outputs. First, we want to get the list of main steps required to achieve the task. Second, we wish to obtain the different linguistic representation of the steps. Finally, we want to temporarily localize each step in the video, as well to have visual representation of each step. This problem is challenging. First, there are variations in the way people are talking about actions. In this example, one may say, start by loosening the bolt whereas another one could say first undo the nuts to express the same action. And this is even worse when looking at the visual domain because of the several factor of variations such as viewpoint, illumination or the way people are performing each step. In this example, the first person uses their hand whether the other one prefers using his foot to get more strength. Moreover, we want to produce this output directly from data without any manual annotation. So lots of work in vision are related to this problem. Action recognition is one of them. However, the task introduced here is more complicated as we are not only dealing with atomic actions, but rather with several actions that have a structure in order to achieve a complex goal. Also related to ours are work that try to tie together natural language processing and vision, such as image captioning, video captioning, or visual question answering. We really think that narrated instruction videos are a very nice source of data in this domain, as speech is naturally highly correlated with what the people are doing and showing inside the video. Finally, recently, others have also looked at problems related to ours in the domain of cooking or using different generative models. So instruction videos are a relative new area with lack of annotated data. For this reason, we decided to create a new dataset of instruction videos that depicts different tasks. Report plant, changing a tire, jump a car battery, making coffee, and finally, perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We have 30 videos per task. Each video is about two minutes long, resulting in a total of more than 800,000 frames. Each video is accompanied with a transcript that has been manually corrected from the automatic speech recognition of YouTube. Finally, for each task, we have defined a list of seven to main steps and have annotated their location inside the videos. 
Those annotations are only used to evaluate our method, as we don't use any labels at training time. So, we first start with two simple and natural assumptions to simplify the problem. First assumption is that each task is composed of an ordered sequence of steps. This assumption, which might seem quite strong, is however crucial in lots of scenarios. For example, one cannot imagine to remove the wheel before jacking up the car. Second assumption is that people do what they say roughly when they say it. For the model, we start from the observation that there are less variation in the text signal than in the video signal, and we design our approach as a two clustering problem linked by constraints. The first one in text and the second one in video. So I will now proceed to describe those two stages. First, we preprocess the input text sequences in, in a sequence of direct object relations. So direct object relations are represented as a couple of a verb and a noun, which is in direct object relation with the verb. For example, in this sentence, let's now jack the car, the direct object relation will be jack car. We then define a similarity score between direct object relations using WordNet. It allows us to match pairs of direct object relations which will be crucial to align globally all sequences together. Let me now walk you through this simple example to illustrate and motivate the idea of the multiple sequence alignment. So we first start with the different text sequences. In the first line displayed here, we see that the three expressions on the right are synonyms of each other, whereas the direct object on the left means something different. So what we can do is simply move it to another line, insert a gap, and continue like this until all sequences are aligned together. So multiple sequence alignment is an NPR problem. In our paper, we formulate it as a quadratic program and use Frankel algorithm to get an approximate solution, which happened to be surprisingly better than standard heuristic for this problem. So, once all sequences are aligned together, we use a simple method to deduce the list of main steps. We simply rank all possible steps with an agreement score based on the number of videos that are aligned together. We then keep the most prominent ones to extract the final list of steps. So, this output will now be used during the second stage of our method that I will now describe. So, the goal of the second stage is to localize the different steps in the video. So text assignment defines rough time interval of possible action location. We formulate the, this problem as a constrained clustering problem. This allows us to, to use the weak supervision that comes from the videos that have text constraints to help localize activity steps that are not orally mentioned in other ones. In our work, we encode this output in the assignment variable z. We then define a discriminative cost function over z that we will next, next minimize. So the intuition behind discriminative clustering is to find a clustering z that will be easily recoverable by a linear classifier w over the feature matrix x. In our case, we use two kinds of visual features one for motion with improved dense trajectories, and one for appearance from convolutional neural networks. We then minimize this cost under the two constraints that come from our assumption, the first one being the ordered script assumption, and the other one coming from the relation with the text assignment found during the first step. So we evaluate our method with a quantitative study. It shows that we are able to find the list of main steps quite accurately. Concerning the temporal localization of the steps, we are able to improve over different baselines. However, there is still room for improvement as the task is quite challenging. I invite you to my poster to get more details about this. <clears throat> so I would just like to finish with some qualitative results. So on this slide, you can see the time intervals chosen by the algorithm to represent three of the steps. So you can see the consistency of the visual appearance of each step. Finally, I displayed here the results for a whole video. 
So on the right, you can see the steps that we discovered. On the bottom, you can see two bars. The top bar contains the ground truth, and the second bar contains our video prediction. So as you can see on this example, we are able to localize a good proportion of the steps accurately. And so the video is uh, fast forwarding to the next video prediction, and the grid frame is displayed when we are making a good prediction, and the red frame otherwise. So the dataset that we used here is available at our project webpage, and I thank you all for your attention. And